Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at loyalty from Paul Brooks. All right, so what is loyalty? Loyalty is a mentalism effect. Uh, it's done with three different uh, loyalty cards. Uh, you know those uh, cash back or those discount cards uh, that you get from usually like grocery stores or theaters. Uh, what Paul Brooks has done is created a really unique way to carry some uh, mentalism props with you around on your keychain. You wanna see what the trailer looks like? This is it. Yeah, I could have made a trailer with the <gasps> gasps and the epic music in the background and all the overhyped stuff that doesn't tell you a single thing. Instead, I wanted to make a little video to show you exactly what loyalty is and describe it in detail so you can make an informed decision. When you get loyalty, you will have three small key cards. These are loyalty key card fob type things that go onto your keyring. The kind that you find in supermarkets, grocery outlets and department stores, that type of thing. With these key cards, you will be able to duplicate someone's drawing, guess exactly what number someone will think of, and predict what word someone will think of. As a side to that, you can even grab someone else, a random person, someone that's already in the group, and have them, more often than not, guess the exact number that the person randomly chose. As an additional bonus, I'm gonna show you how to take anybody's key card, ungimmicked, and do the same kind of effects that you can do with loyalty. How cool is that? I'll teach you via a video instruction and my usual PDF that's full of psychological subtleties, scripting, all of that goodness. Grab loyalty today. It will always be by your side. All right, so that was loyalty from Paul Brooks. And uh, you've probably seen a couple of the, my other reviews uh, for Paul Brooks's effects. This one's, uh, I would say, very similar to the other two, and uh, if you wanna see what those other two look like, I'll put the descriptions and the links down below. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? All right, so it's a cardboard sleeve, uh, and then with inside that, you're gonna get the three fake loyalty cards, and then the download code to the 48-page PDF. Is it what I thought? Uh, it is actually what I thought because I previously had the Networker deck from Paul Brooks as well. It's very similar to that in uh, like effect and theory because you're doing a drawing duplication, a number prediction, and a word revelation, kind of using the same techniques and, and, and things that uh, Paul Brooks had done before uh, with the Networker deck. How are the angles? The angles are really clean. Uh, there really aren't any angles to do. Not really with mentalism. There's no like special moves or funny uh, movements there. You can hand them out completely. You know, they're, they're completely inspectable. So there's nothing nothing to hide there. Uh, and so, yeah, it's a, it's a great little thing to have on your keychain whenever you wanna do a mentalism trick. What's the overall quality and production value of the instructions? Uh, like I said, it's 48 pages. It's a PDF, okay? It's full color, it's photographs. It's well put together, well edited. Uh, yeah, so if you like written instructions, you can't go wrong. Is it well made? All right, so they're very well made. I mean, they look exactly like uh, loyalty cards. Uh, the only thing is, uh, they just, they're just not real places, you know, they're not real venues. And so I think uh, you might have to dodge some questions about, well, you know, where is this grocery store? Where is this movie theater? So I don't know. How much practice does this require? Uh, so with mentalism, you kind of get out of the knacky movements and the sleight of hand, but you get into memory work. So, so there is some memory work involved uh, for all three different effects. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just remembering that routine, remembering how uh, they go together. But other than that, it's pretty simple. 
How much setup and reset is there? Of course, there is none. Uh, there's none for this. It's just a matter of having them on your keys and you're good to go. Positives. All right, so what are the positives to loyalty from Paul Brook? Uh, Paul Brook is a terrific mentalist and the routines provided uh, are cunning and strong. I, I think carrying loyalty on your key ring ensures that you always have a three hit punch whenever you need it. Negatives. All right, so what are some of the negatives to this? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, I don't really know anyone who uses loyalty cards anymore. I don't have them on my key ring. My wife doesn't, my mother-in-law doesn't. My parents, I, I think, have one for their one grocery store and that's it. And I also don't travel. You know, I don't travel across the world or across the United States. So there's no reason why I would have loyalty cards for venues that don't exist in my hometown. I think anybody who knows me, uh, this would seem out of place in a routine. They would say, well, where is this movie theater? Where is this grocery store? I've never heard of this. Or like, you know, I know you shop at such and such. This would be really good for, you know, playing for strangers. And I think that would probably be Paul Brooks' advice. I think it especially would play well for people who travel cross country and who maybe pick up loyalty cards uh, from states or cities that maybe you're not in. Uh, so, I don't know. Why, the other side to that is, why would I pick up a loyalty card for a store that I don't always shop in, you know? Why would I pick up a loyalty card and say, oh, well, this is actually a movie theater in a different state. Well, why, why, would, why do you have it then? You don't, why would you keep it on your key ring? You'd only keep loyalty cards for stores and venues that you're loyal to, right? So, I, I don't know. What I would do, what I would do to kind of help disguise this, that they're gimmicks, um, is I would get a couple of other legitimate loyalty cards for the stores and venues that still use these, and then you know dirty all of them up and make them look used. Maybe that will help um, pass some of these gaffes off as real. Is it worth your money? Uh, it is thirty dollars, thirty dollars, and you're getting three loyalty cards, so that's pretty much ten dollars a piece. Um, but they are custom made, okay? They are custom made and they will enable you to do some pretty unique effects. And so definitely uh, check out some other reviews and just ask yourself if this is gonna fit in your repertoire. Who would like this? Of course, people who do mentalism. I think people who uh, especially do mentalism for strangers, people who uh, maybe travel a, a, a little bit and might have picked up uh, loyalty cards that maybe people aren't familiar with, or anyone who's just a fan of Paul Brooks' work, I think would definitely like loyalty. All right, so that is loyalty from Paul Brooks. As always, I want to thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this effect so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.